Go Interactive with me, Kelly. Oh, he is a lover. This is Rico. We're here at Nanaimo SPCA. Ashley, what's Rico's story? He is a sweetheart. <laughs> he is. He's, uh, he's just over one years old. Um, we got a report to our cruelty hotline that there was a severely emaciated dog. Um, one of our investigators went out there and they found that he was in poor condition. Uh, he's been here for about two and a half, three weeks and he's put on most of the weight that he needs to, probably about five more pounds to go. Uh, he seems like a puppy for sure. He is, yeah. It's like he's, he's just <laughs> hugging me here. <laughs> he definitely needs uh, some manners still. He hasn't learned that it's you know inappropriate to jump up and do some of the mouthing, but uh, otherwise he's just uh, the sweetest little boy ever. <laughs> is there any home that he wouldn't be suited for? or um, Just a home maybe with uh, small children. Uh, at first because he does need to learn those basic manners so he might knock them over. Uh, otherwise, somebody that's willing to put in the obedience training and, and love and care for him would be awesome. Oh, it's a good thing I already have three dogs because <laughs> this dog is so sweet. If you're looking for a new best friend, come and meet Rico at Nanaimo SPCA. seeds. That's a very juicy tomato, isn't it? Should we put it in with the potatoes and we can put it in our soup? Stone soup is just one of our daily activities that we do at Lady Smith Family and Friends. Parents, caregivers, and children are able to bring a potato or a carrot or some onions and give what they can, but then also by working collaboratively all together that we're able to make a big pot of soup and then we can all share it. Originally we did put stones in the soup, but we decided we didn't have to keep up with that. <laughs> There's an old story that you can read about stone soup and it's the idea of someone in the community going from um, business to household to farm and everyone would contribute what they could and that's really how we work as an organization is really building on the strengths of everyone in the community. Do you want to use your knife and do some chopping? Stone Soup started with a mom who just really wanted to be able to contribute in some way. She herself was a food bank user and wanted to teach her kids about the importance of using the food bank, but then also being able to give back. Are there little seeds in there? It's really important what the kids are learning about how they can contribute to meal preparation and to the importance of food and where it comes from. Where did these carrots come from? Were they in the ground? Is that where they grew? Lady Smith Family and Friends is a family resource program and we're located at Aggie Hall in Lady Smith. Stone Soup happens on a Tuesday every week, um, except for in the summer, July and August, then Stone soup actually turns into French toast. <laughs> We're checking out from rationing to ravishing, and some of these hats are very, very cool. I love hats. I think I look good in hats, but I never wear hats on a daily basis. Look at this one. It's got like a bird, in two birds entwined. This one looks like, um, like a leaf. I would feel like I was one of those petal fairies. And then there's this cigarette holder. Oh, that's just so so glamorous and none of this is even remotely appropriate to paddleboarding. I recently had an experience on a paddleboard. <laughs> <laughs>